Hello, it's been a minute. Um, I promised you guys that I would come on today and do a live and here I am. Uh, I wanted to be able to thank you all so much. Um, number one, for the incredible support of the app launch yesterday, but also I haven't done a live in several months. And so I wanted to thank you so much for the incredible support of me and our family and all of the prayers that you have sent our way and um, trying to get back into the swing of things and be present in the same way that I was before so many things happened. So um, here I am, uh, but I, yeah, I just wanted to show up and be in community with you guys again in a way that I haven't felt like I have been able to. So that's why I'm here. Um, and also I had promised here on Instagram that I would walk you guys through the app and show you the features and answer any questions and that is what I am gonna do. So I guess um, I would love if you guys could tell me, um, do, have any of you, well first let me say hi. So hi to Manny Lynn, hi to Maria, hi to Carly. Um, hello to Shauna, hello to Christine, hello to all of you guys, it's nice to see you. Um, <clears throat> I know, of course, the first question I see you, Melcy, is um, where is the app in Canada? And I promise, Canada, you know how much I love you. We just, we did our last conference that we were able to do in Toronto. We are working on it. Um, just so you know, it's an extra layer of legal and um, when you um, do things in different currencies and all of that. So um, we're working on it. I would say in the next few weeks, we'll have it available for you guys. So thank you so much. Um, someone just said, I miss your face. I miss your face too. Thank you. Um, okay. So I put it on my iPad so I could show you my giant screen um, for the app here. I guess too, I'd love to know um, if you have any questions specifically about it so that I can answer for you. Um, but you can see I'm in the middle. I'm on, I don't know, can you guys see that? So I'm on day two of 90. So I started a 90 day challenge yesterday. Jump in if you are in the app, start a challenge with me. I really felt like, um, I, I wanted to do it because the app was launching, but I also really felt like um, I need routine so badly in my life right now. Um, maybe some of you um, um, feel like that. Um, I need routine so badly. And so I really want to stick to the things that I know work well for me. Um, and so these habits, like the five to thrive and the habit tracker are the things that, that have worked really well in the past. So I decided to start a challenge when the app started. Um, hold on, someone just said, is there an app for the TV? So there is actually, um, I think what you mean is, can I put this on the TV? And yes, you can, what's it called? Simul, it's not called simulcast. It's, what is it called when you put, oh, I feel like a grandma. Um, oh, Rach, what is it? Do, do, do. Man, I should have known how to do that for you guys. Um, but it is a thing. It is a thing because that was the feedback that we got when we beta tested it was people wanted to be able to watch it on a bigger screen. So you can make this go on to your TV. So, okay, hold on. Okay, great. So anyway, our five to thrive, if you've never done a challenge with us before, these are the five things that we do every single day for 90 days that are simple and feel like have the greatest impact on um, feeling present, lowering anxiety, um, being more grateful, um, really taking care of your health. So thank you to Cass. You guys are like, it's called airplay, screen mirroring. Yes, thank you. Y'all are smarter than I am. So one of those things does exist in the app so you can put it on your TV. Um, so uh, the sort of core is this, these five things. So we do the habit tracker every day and you can see them on day two. So I did, I woke up early, I did my movement and I did my gratitude. And then once I get through the day, I will have had my water. So half my body weight in ounces of water every day. And I will have consumed good fuel and like kept on track with um, eating foods that bless my body. And so I'll check it off. So the daily tracker, it's if you want something that reminds you to keep that habit consistent. Um, and then my favorite part of the app is the workouts. So, you know, we've been saying to people forever to move your body for 30 minutes every single day. And lots of people are like, 
I don't want to go on a run or I can't get to the gym, especially in the time that we're in. So we tried to come up with a bunch of different ways that you could move your body with us, whether that was an in-studio workout with instructors, whether that was going on a hike with Trent Shelton or going on a run with Dave or um, doing a slow jog with me on a treadmill or an elliptical. We really tried to come up with ways that um, you could <clears throat> excuse me, that you could get your movement in in a way that made sense to you. So when it comes to that section, you can choose, sorry, it's backwards, but you can choose by instructor. So you could tap on this and you could be like, okay, which instructor do I wanna do a workout with, right? Or you could say, okay, I don't wanna do instructor, I wanna do by length. So all of the workouts are divided into 10, 20, and 30 minutes. So depending on how much time you have, if you wanna like kill it, Maybe you're gonna do a 30 minute, and if you've only got 10 minutes to get something in quick, you can do it that way. Um, the next way that you can sort these is by level. So we divided these into four sections. So we call them hero, champion, warrior, and then we have cool downs. So hero is if you are just starting, like you're just starting your health journey, you're just getting into fitness. Um, these are sort of the idea of like, you're really just starting to move, so those are going to meet you where you're at. They're gonna be 10 minutes, they're gonna be low impact, they're gonna be encouraging and motivational, but like none of this stuff where you go on, you know, some fitness apps, it's like, oh, um, this is the easy workout, and then you're like dying, and now you feel shame because someone said it was easy, but you can't do it. Um, I've been there many times, so we tried to navigate around that. So. The hero is 10 minutes. If you wanna do champion level, that's sort of like, okay, you're in the, med you're like right there in the middle, you're ready to push yourself. And then warrior is 30 minutes, you're gonna move around, your heart rate's gonna be up, or maybe we're gonna burn out a certain section of the body, but we are going to get it. Um, so depending on what you choose, there's something for you. And then cool downs are obviously, if you just wanna move, if you wanna stretch, if you wanna hear from your favorite instructor while you cool it down. Um, and then this is my favorite part, is that this, instead of um, doing fitness that's divided into like arms, butt, legs, uh, we really believe that health should be about how you feel, not about how you look. So um, our movements are divided into how you want to feel. So these are all feelings. So you can say, I wanna feel motivated. I wanna feel fearless. I wanna feel inspired. I wanna feel powerful. I wanna feel joyful. And then depending on what you choose, now you're gonna have all kinds of options based on what you chose. Um, so yeah, so those are the video workouts. There's audio if you wanna do a gratitude practice, if you wanna feel motivated. We're uploading stuff all the time. You just click over to the focus section. You can do start today work. You can do daily inspiration. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what the app is. There's so much more I actually posted on my Instagram. If you wanna watch, it's like four minutes of every single part of the app, um, but that's what it is. Um, so this is the Rise app. This is what we have been working on for two years. Um, the intention, for those of you who have ever been to conference with me before, we wanted to somehow give you the experience of coming to conference but have it available in your phone. So it's available on iPhone and Android. You can, um, you do a week, it's a week trial for free. So you can try it out for seven days and see if it's the right fit for you. And then after that, it's $9.99 a month because I hoped that um, it would be so much less than a gym membership that it would make sense for your lives and that it could sort of meet everybody where they're at. So that is the Rise app. And there's, I'm on there, Dave's on there, Trent Shelton, Stacy Flowers, Britt Barron, um, Chris Chandler, people that you've seen before if you're in our Rise community, and a bunch of new instructors that you maybe are meeting for the first time that, but I know that you're gonna love as much as we do. So um, that's what it is. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, and um, can you do a yearly membership? I don't even know how to do that, but I will ask the team. Uh, we're <laughs> still so beginning. I'll be honest, my biggest fear yesterday was just like, is this gonna work? Um, and of course we worked with like an incredible team to 
pull it into existence, but I was like so afraid. So that's what, um, that's what's happening. Um, so is there ever going to be a free version? There's a free week long trial. So feel free to check that out, but it is a part of our business. So there is a cost. We pay all of our instructors. So, um, we have to charge money for that. Um, so yeah, will there be race training? Yes, there absolutely will. Thank you so much for that reminder. Um, all, we have so many ideas. Like one of my best friends was a collegiate cheerleader. I'm like, do we need to have a cheer routine? Is there a musical theater class? Is that literally my intention with this is if we can think of a way that you would maybe move your body, I want there to be classes inside of this. I want it to be a different approach to health and fitness. Our um, saying that we keep, you know, saying around, I was gonna say the office, but we don't go into an office anymore, um, is, add joy to fitness. We really think that you can have fun even when you're challenging yourself. And so we just, we keep describing it as like, if other fitness apps were high school characters, then like some fitness apps are like the jocks and some fitness apps are the cheerleaders and we are glee club. We are the nerds, we are the people who didn't belong, we are the people who don't quite fit in into other communities, and we feel like there's beauty in that commonality, so that is what we are trying to create. Um, yes, uh, Annie, uh, we are working on getting it everywhere. We had to launch her in the US, you know, make sure she works, but yes, that is, that is the intention. Dance class, absolutely. Um, looking, really want to do choreo. Like, I think it'd be so fun to have a choreographer come in and teach us all like eight counts that we learn. Um, musical theater, yes, Nikki, I was the president of the drama club. I am here for some musical theater. Um, so we're trying to do all the things, but that is the app. Um, and yeah, everybody who's asking like the different places, we're we are for sure working on global expansion. We started here in the US, you know, cause that's the easiest for us to do legally. It's yes, yoga, thank you. Um, absolutely, we have, um, we have a Pilates instructor we've been talking to who does mat Pilates. We've got some more runners. Um, yoga is a big one for us. And I think like for me, one, we're trying to pull this off inside of quarantine and like how do you do that safely? And um, the other thing is it's really important to me that um, everybody that you see on the app that you see diversity um, and, and in every way, right? Like. Um, every ethnicity, every body size, every ability, every age. Um, so it's not just a collection of like all people who look the same. So it's not quite as easy as like, first we have to find instructors that we love. Then they also have to share our vision because there are lots of people who exist in this space but don't have a similar belief that we have or maybe use language that we feel like is triggering to some members of our community. Um, a, lot of process, a lot goes into finding people that we feel like are the right fit. Um, so yes, all the different things are coming, but uh, we, are, we are working on it. Um, is up, it is updated with new content automatically. Um, hello in Portugal. Um, Yes, 100% Mandy, low impact, absolutely. So check out the hero section. Those are 10 minute workouts and whenever possible, um, we always showed um, here's a moderation or here's how you can do it sitting down or here are the different ways that you can try it and please tell me, like give me that feedback or send a note to our customer service if there's something specific. Like if you're like, hey, this is what I'm working with and I haven't really seen workouts for my particular thing, please let us know because we created this with you guys in mind and we wanna make sure that we keep creating with you guys in mind. Um, Yes, good, I love, Katie said um, her little boys love to hop into a workout and that is for sure, was definitely our intention with this. In fact, I really wanted to do some workouts with my kids, but again, inside of like taping things in quarantine, I didn't really want them on set, didn't feel super safe to be around other people. Um, but that is the intention, is that there will be some where it's like, okay, how do you get a workout in with a toddler running around? And maybe um, someone might have seen, like I did a, a workout on the treadmill where like Jeffrey ran into the, like we're just sort of making it work out. Ooh, prenatal is a really good idea. And honestly, I did not think of that. So I'm going to add that to the list. Um, so the music in, there is music in the workouts. It's not top 40. 
Um, I battled on this for like a year. Um, and in fact, it's why the app took so long was because I was like, this has to have top 40 music. And then I found out that having top 40 music is like $3 million. And I was like, just kidding. <laughs> we will make it work with whatever we can get. So yes, Noah instructing a dance class would be hilarious. Um, yeah, someone just said it doesn't compare to Peloton. That's the whole point, 100%. Um, I saw someone else ask about HIT. Um, I love a HIT class. It's not really our jam. Um, I, and there's lots of fitness apps that fully do that and, and will, you know, kill it for you. Ooh, Zumba would be super fun. Um, this is more about movement and we really want to challenge people. But the intention was I, I wanted to create something for people who feel like who feel intimidated by other things that are out there, who have tried and failed or tried and felt discouraged. And so we're like, can we laugh our way through a 30 minute workout? Can we do things that are silly? Can we make jokes? Can, I mean, if you've seen me and Chris working out in the app together, then maybe you've seen this, but that was it. That was the intention behind it. Um, Okay, so yes, yeah, so what about workouts for people in wheelchairs? So the intention, like what you will find in here is that whenever possible, it was like, here's how you do this seated. Um, quadriplegic, paraplegic workouts are harder to find, I'm sure. Um, thank you for that thought because we were more thinking of if you had to be seated, um, but it's important for me to remember, I'm gonna look into paraplegic, quadriplegic, because I don't have the information on that, and I wanna make sure that if we're incorporating those things, like, I just want everybody to be able to see themselves. So, I'm writing it down, because you guys told me about prenatal. Let me know if there's anything else while we're here. Um, someone just said the price, so it's a seven week free trial, and then after that, it's $9.99 a month. And I was like, how do we keep it so low that like you could go to McDonald's or you could have all of this content available to you plus a habit tracker, plus it celebrates you, plus all of these things for 10 bucks a month. Um, so prenatal and then thank you, para and quadriplegic. I'm gonna look into that. Um, okay, let's see what other questions. Off topic, you love my top. Thank you. Um, this is a hoodie that I've had for about 15 years. You can see how frayed it is. And this is a, a really thin old t-shirt, but thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, so yoga, yes. I just haven't found a yoga instructor that I love, 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 but it is our goal. We did find a couple, but they were in other cities and then it was hard to get them here to shoot because of quarantine. So I promise you we are working on yoga. You guys know yoga is not my favorite, but I understand that it is a lot of other people's favorites. So it is coming. Um, so, so thank you so much that I miss your energy in my life. I'm here. I'm back, I'm trying to be back. Um, honestly feel, you know, if any of you have ever gone through a really big breakup or a divorce, um, I'm sure you can imagine what the last three months have been like. Um, and I don't ever want to put negativity out into the world. I really have always tried to be a place of positivity. And um, I also, it's important to me to be authentic, right? And so I don't want to come on and pretend to be happy or pretend to be positive when I'm crying myself to sleep. So um, I felt a lot better the last few weeks um, and still have really hard days. Um, but I don't know if any of you, I mean, like, tell me, I don't know if this is weird, but um, you know, Dave, was the first person I ever went on a date with in my entire life, ever. So I've never broken up with someone, ever. Um, and so I have no concept of what is normal. Um, that I just know there are days where it feels like everything's gonna be okay, and then there are days where it feels like the world's ending. Um, but it has felt better the last few weeks, and um, I sort of wanted to make sure that stuck before I got back on here um, and um, I'm sure there's still gonna be really crappy days and hard days um, but I feel better so that's why I'm back um, 
and I'm really curious. Um, I'm so curious in here. Um, oh, someone just said like totally been through a divorce like that. <laughs> Am I open to dating women? Um, I love lesbians. My best friends are gay, um, but no, I kind of wish I was into women because I just feel like women are rad, but um, no. And also the dating, I can't even, my brain, mm -mm. I'm, you know, probably going to die alone. It's fine. It's, these aren't, does any, for, can I just ask a really quick question to you, anyone who has ever gone through a big breakup or gone through a divorce, is that normal to have those worries? Like, could someone tell me, like, it's normal to be like, you're probably going to die alone, right? Like that, is that, I'm very dramatic, but I also, I don't really have any other female friends who've gone through this, so like nobody can tell me. I don't know. This one's, oh, yeah, that's so real. Thank you for, okay, very normal. Okay, good. Okay, thank you guys. Cause I'm, this is, it's wild. This is all very, very wild. Um, so that is, um, that is, that is where we're at. Um, but I did get a dog. Um, that is really great. Um, she's, look, here, I'll show you her. She's being a very good girl, and she's napping in the corner. And she's like, why are you bugging me? But there's the queen. She really does not want to be bothered while she's trying to take her nap. Um, so that is... Um, wit so that's a really positive thing and that's what we're doing um, yeah puppy love has been yes thank you guys everybody who's telling me that it's normal I really appreciate that it, it makes me feel uh, it makes me feel better to sort of normalize the situation um, so yeah so that's what's happening in my life um, the big my big thing is um, I, I got a bed this week. Um, it's a very interesting time to get a new place because inside of COVID, it's very hard to get things. And I am not, I'm not complaining. I am so freaking lucky to be able to buy a bed, right? Or to be able to find a new place. I get that. But um, if any of you have ever experienced this, um, you know, when I first came here, I was sleeping on the floor. And then I've been sleeping on a mattress on the floor. And that feels very depressing. Um, I am so hyper aware that so many people don't have that. I, I freaking get it. Um, but that has been really hard for me. And it's been really hard um, because I don't like my kids seeing that. Um, I don't like them sort of coming here and like, there's nothing here. Um, I literally bought this table from the people who were here before and thank God, cause it's been my only piece of furniture. Um, so I got a bed this week, all of that to say, sorry, I'm not trying to be a crybaby, but I got a bed this week and I cannot explain to you how big a deal it is to have a bed. Um, this is all crazy. Like everything in your life changes and becomes something different. And, um, anyway, that was been the highlight of this week so far was like last night was my first night sleeping in a bed. It's a big deal. So, um, I do think, um, I do sit back and remind myself in this time period that like, it's hard that everything takes so long. And then there's also, I feel like God is teaching me a lesson in the waiting, in the patience, in the sitting, in the discomfort of this season. Because then when I get one thing, right? Like when, you know, like cups for Noah get here, I'm so grateful for sippy cups. I'm so grateful for little things that I for sure would have taken for granted before. So um, there's beauty in there's beauty in that for sure. Um, 
Yeah, so um, I'm getting back on. I'm getting back on to live. Um, I'm gonna come back on and start doing them in the mornings again, because um, that's just sort of easier to like get my day going. But I had promised you guys that I would get on, and I just wanted to um, get on with you before the day ended. Um, definitely, if you have questions about the app, go watch, like we made this really cool video in the App Store, you can get it on Android or on iPhone. So there's lots of information, it tells you what's all included if you want to understand more. Um, but the Rise app is here and we're so excited and we've been blown away by how many people are already using it. And hey, if you're using it, will you post on social and tag me so that I can see? Um, we really wanna be able to repurpose, like show our community doing the thing. If you are on like Start Today or maybe Rise, like you've seen us do that with user-generated content. So please tag me, tag Rise so that we can see what you're up to and what you're loving. Um, and yes. Um, yes, there will be plus size instructors, 100 million billion percent. Um, very, very important to me, very important to me. Um, I, like for a bajillion reasons, um, but that is why we created what we did. So lots of really cool instructors are in the works and if you haven't seen them yet, it's only because inside of quarantine, it's really hard to shoot content, but we are figuring it out in real time. So you will continue to see uh, people come out and if you know people and you love people and you're like, this is who you should have in your app, please tag me, tag Rise, let us know because um, like I said earlier, if you were here, it takes a while for us to figure out the right um, people who like believe what we believe. We believe that health should be about how you feel, not how about not about how you look, um, and who really want to create a space where everybody's welcome, where everybody feels included, where we meet you, where you're at, where we have fun, where we're loud and extra and too much, and we hopefully give you space to do the same. Um, so that's what it's about. And thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Um, still getting set into a routine. Uh, so I will be back tomorrow morning, 7.38 a.m. Central-ish, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for loving on me so well. Thank you for the prayers, I have felt them. I hope that you are having a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you again soon.